Okay, so there's multiple ways uh, you can access Cortana. As you can see, there's a live dial, and she's telling me about a flight that I'm interested in. Uh, I think that's either my flight today or tomorrow. Um, so you could tap on it, and that's one way to access Cortana. And she's going to show me the stuff that's interesting to me proactively, right? Um, and as you can see, it's also telling me that there is a flight, uh, the Alaska 26 flight, and she wants to know if I want to track it. And if you're wondering how she got that, it's, you know, you could click that and, you know, it's because she was reading my mail, because I asked her to read my mail uh, on the phone. And now I could say yes and no. And if I say yes, you know, uh, she'll track it for me, right? Um, and then she's also showing me a bunch of topics that are of interest to me. Now these could be either proactively inferred by her or she'll ask or, or I might have told her, hey, I'm interested in uh, something, uh, go track it. So let's, let's try an example. So today is, we, we are releasing Cortana, so I'm going to say news about Cortana. And I could say, okay, update me on this topic, okay, and she's, she's got that. Now the place where you see that is you go to the notebook right and you go to my interests um, let's start with that so she, the news about Cortana is something that I'm interested in tracking so she's tracking that but she's also transparent in the sense you can you, you can go to the notebook and figure out exactly what she knows about you now if for some reason I no longer want to track this I could say delete um, but as you can see I've said things like uh, traffic daily glance these are all things where she's um, sort of proactively looking out for me every day morning when I leave work she's going to show me things like directions to work stuff like that and if I have a calendar appointment she, she gives me traffic and she tells me to leave things like that right um, so that's that's interest now with Cortana she can do three kinds of reminders and um, it's pretty unique because um, you know, let's. So she could do either time, location, or person-based reminders, right? Um, so let's let's try to try, let's try some examples here. I could I could uh, either do it with touch or I could do it with voice. Let's try voice. So the people-based reminder is unique because she knows my the people that are uh, important to me. Remind me when I talk to Marcus to congratulate him. When should I remind you? Congratulations, Marcus. When did you want to be reminded? When I talked to Marcus. Sure thing. Next time you talk to Marcus Ash, I'll remind you to talk to Marcus to congratulate. Yeah, she got that. Is that right? Yes. Great. So it actually created a people-based reminder. I mean, there was a minor screw up there, but the idea is that you can create a reminder now. Uh, let's say Marcus texts me and I'm going to fake that here. Uh, it'll tell you, hey, you were going to congratulate him. So that's an example of a people-based reminder. I could either complete it or, you know, um, decide to carry on if, 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 you know, if there's something more there. So um, let's try uh, an example of a location reminder. Remind me to pick up trash when I get home. Mind you to pick up trash when you get home. Sound good? Yes. Got it. Right, so, you know, geofence reminders, you would expect uh, your personal assistant to, ha you know, remind you when, when you go to a place. Like, I could say things like, remind me to buy milk at a grocery store, and she knows what a grocery store is, and you can either say any grocery store, or you could say Safeway in Blast Street, you know, things like that. So she, she can handle all of that.